All right. Black science. Oh, fun. How cute do you have to be to be a baddie? What's the minimum requirements of baddieism? So as far as one through ten? I don't know. I mean what are what what are the minimum requirements that you have to reach before even being considered a baddie? Because even if you say you gotta be an eight, what does that even entail? There's eights that look completely different from each other. Um everything did to the term baddie. Okay. I would think that Everything is always done very well put together. Okay. As, and I think you're serving face. Okay, I was about to say, can you be an ugly baddie if everything's together? Well, that's the thing. Who we asking? Are we asking women or are we asking men? Because those are two different answers. All right, who? what's the w- women answer? Because I feel like that's I the think, more accurate one. I think the women answer as far as baddie is concerned is if if facially it's not it's not cracking there i don't know if you can be but if facially it's there but the body ain't really body and you could still be a, a i baddie. believe you can still be a baddie if you're that. serving face for that. sure but if you're not serving face what if you're serving a ton of body, body. but the face is looking like our co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be... I don't think that would be considered a baddie. But my male counterparts may differ. A big booty baddie. <laughs> ah, that's look, what I said. They could look like French Montana <laughs> and everywhere else. But if they got a fatty, some dudes will think <laughs> fatty equal baddie. <laughs> I think we're harsher on women. Like, women are harsher... On women. That's why I figured the the women's answer would be Mm -hmm. more accurate. Mm -hmm. Is it the same for dudes? Because I feel like women are called baddies and they also call themselves baddies. Mm -hmm. Men are called what? Fine, cute, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I've never, I've never, even like a vain dude, I've never heard him just constantly referring himself to like, I'm fine. I'm Mm -hmm. a a fine. (laughs) Because it's just not, it's not, uh, I feel like. If we're we're talking black science, so I feel like I hear dudes be like, "I'm that nigga," you know, like. But that could not I'm refer him to or I'm him. You could not even be talking about how you look too, because mm-hmm. academics say that all the time, and I think everybody agrees. He's that not he's talking not, about oh. his looks. He's talking about a bunch of other stuff. It's academics. He might be. He might think that he's the male equivalent of a bad. Of baddie. <laughs> okay. Is um, there a number? Like, is there like a number that you can't fall? Like, are all ba- baddies seven and ups? Or is there like a, can you be a four baddie? I don't think you can be a seven and a baddie. Can you? I don't know. Can I'm you asking. be a seven and eight? a baddie? Eight? Can you be eight? I think. There's baddie I think, eights. I think ba- baddies might start at eight. Okay. That's fair. Mm-hmm. So seven is like a really cute regular girl <laughs> or what i think sevens are a vibe what about a seven because you know double standards are all over the place mm-hmm. is a seven dude fine does fine also start at eight mm-hmm. um i think I, I don't even okay so I don't really even number people like that because I feel like it's just so different. Facial Mm -hmm. features are so different. And it's really, beauty is really in the eye of the beholder. So I feel like there's so many different things. There's women that I've seen that I'm like, oh, she looks nice. And then niggas be like, women think all their friends look good. And I think, uh, you know, I'd be like, yeah, she a baddie. And then. You know, I had did this whole post, and I posted a whole bunch of who I thought were beautiful women. You knew and them all? I didn't know them. And then I started getting uh, DMs like, damn, like, post the baddies. like, And I'm like, what? I did. You know, and they're like, nah, That's that ain't it. And That's I'm like, tactic, That's fucked up. Because the women that I, I posted, I genuinely feel are beautiful. Yeah, but you're not going to hit on 
a girl on a page that they were reposted on. You know, they're going to hit on who they have access to. But they to. don't even have to send me anything. The girls were tagged. They could have exactly. just went to their page. That's so why do they have to say anything because to they me? Were, because it was hitting on you. Just packaged up differently. It was just like, oh, they them ain't the baddies. You the baddies. Well, that, that I got those, but I'm talking about there were some specific that didn't mention me. Well, I think that was the ultimate goal. But some who did really, mention me. Who would really go out of their way just to be like, hey, they're not cute. Okay, bye. You know, there was probably mm -hmm. something that they were trying to get at. They just didn't get to it. Yeah, well, they need to be more direct, like the guys who said it. Directly. I like breaking down nigga code to you. Mm hmm. It's funny. Thank you. I appreciate it because <laughs> for me, it be it don't make sense, and I'm like, well, why tell me that they're not that cute and post different ones if they're trying to get with me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that don't make sense to me. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. In the superficial, shallow world of baddieism, I feel like people will say an eight and up. For men and women. But I wonder if men's pockets have anything to do with the level of baddie they are. Also, oh, there's men can, a phrase. Men can be baddies? Hell yeah. There's a phrase that's, you're not ugly, you're just poor. Mm -hmm. So that's what they've seen mostly. the glow ups from not having money to having money, getting all the... The best makeup, the best work done on your face, you know. The, so the you can veneers. transform into a baddie. You just need the cash. You just need the money. Growth. But I think everyone internally is a baddie. That's a good way to end this. If they're this. A, a nice person. You can be a baddie. Just you can be a baddie, too. Make more money. <laughs> just, kidding. just kidding. All right. Uh, threads today. First off, welcome to Thick Threads, the thickest show on the internet. I'm your mm -hmm. co-host, Patrick Cloud. And I'm Persephone. We got a third co-host here, Yoshi. Yoshi. Uh, really cool on camera, shitty backpack. Mm. Very shitty backpack. Damn. I was, uh, I, it's very new. It's interesting. The backpack it's is so actually. Cute. The is that a actually, red shell? Yeah, it's, well, I mean, his. His uh his saddle is red, so I don't know if it's like a red oh, shell, but he does shell. have a shell. But the backpack is actually his backpack, <laughs> and it barely. <laughs> I have a wallet and a knife in here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is that? A wallet and a knife? That is like just and that's anything. about it. That's, that's all that all fits it really. Fit. So your phone can't even fit. A, I could maybe get a chapstick in there. Damn. Not a not a very efficient. So it's really a stuffed animal with strings. It's a stuffed animal with a holding compartment. <laughs> and a, yeah, and a, it can okay. attach to my back. I like it. I like it. Shout out to Yoshi. All bop, right. Bop. Um, I brought a story time. Okay. I brought a story time written by a dude. His name is the Dread God. Okay. And it's the story is this. <laughs> I fought my girlfriend's sugar daddy and he won. <laughs> Now we both his. Uh, <laughs> damn. How embarrassing. That's humiliating. That's pretty rough. Did he take his girl too? That's probably the win. <sighs> well, he said he fought and the other dude won. So maybe it was a physical ass whooping. No, no, no. I'm saying that, but it's probably another W that came in there. Sugar Daddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If it was a sugar daddy, I'm sure he was getting some sugar. <laughs> It's probably getting more. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's more than sugar? Isn't sugar she, sick? She she may be attracted to the nigga now. Oh, uh, okay. You know, sometimes. Oh, after the, the, the dude got beat up? Right, after he beat him up. You know, you watch the Is that a thing? Is that like a, like, do women really get hornier about. A man that can protect a man that, himself and you? No. Oh. If a dude gets beat up by a nigga you don't know. That woman will want to fuck the other dude? <laughs> well, I won't say necessarily want to fuck the other dude, but it's kind of just like, damn, he could probably protect me better than my own dude. <laughs> you know, it's really about protection. So when you see, when you, what you do, and a lot of times our, our guys will like play it up like, mm -hmm. like they got hands like that, you right. know? So then when you get put in a position Anything where happened, them hands got to be I'm tested. I'm fucking fire off. It's just like, no, 
right no. then it's like that might might not necessarily make you want to smash the other guy but mm-hmm. it might make you lose attraction to not want to smash your them. guy louis ck has an amazing show that has this crazy scene because louis ck is an old fat bald dude <laughs> and i guess he got pressed by these like high school bullies on a date Oh and God. they were like, this dude got, like, it was a really intense feel. He was just, like, talking about fucking him up, breaking his teeth off and stuff like that. Yeah. And the dude was just like, no, I have kids. I'm, like, 40. Like, <laughs> fuck out of here. And then afterwards, like, they walked away, and he was just like, damn, can you believe that guy? And the girl was just like, I don't know. I think the date's over. I'm oh! just not attracted to you anymore. He was like, what? Because he <laughs> made too much sense. Mm-hmm. And uh, he saved himself from getting beat up. I'm I'm cool with that. But if my dude is talking mess, so damn, I got a story for everything. Mm. But I told this story actually. Oh, the gas station the fight. The gas station. Oh, he, uh, he he said that he had hands. Yes, he said he could fight five dudes at once, and but he, he said was that a before big, that. Yeah, he had always I can talked fight about five that. dudes at mm-hmm. once. That's such a bold claim. Mm-hmm. You have but no idea was, what those five dudes look like. It could he be said five. He studied martial arts. Oh, he was and, big on his hands. And, but he was big, yeah, and he was a big dude. He was like, he had to have been maybe 235, 240. But I, I only remember you five. jumping on the other dude's back. But I how did. was how was he doing in the fight? He wasn't doing good. That's why I had to jump on the other dude's back. But it was two people? Yes. So at first it was one, right? But he did. He, he started beating the one dude up that mm-hmm. he was fighting. And then his homeboy got out the car, and I thought he was going to pull his homeboy to leave, but he didn't. He came in and kicked my dude, and my dude fell to the ground. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. He fell, and the dude starts stomping him out. So now it's two on one. So I'm screaming. My screams are doing nothing, so I'm like, I have to intervene. I had on Jesus sandals, too. Jesus sandal and a ponytail. Worst sandals ever. Horrible. Flat. It was kind of hot. So pavement was a little wise, hot. Okay. So I just had to jump on his back. and So he won the one on one. Give him a, give him some damn credit. He, he didn't win a jumping. But he kept jump. telling me that he could fight five niggas. But then when presented with two, I had to jump in. I mean, that's still very so high So it was like... A, a, I don't have high expectations. You thought the karate he, was going to come out. He's the one who said it. He's the one who talked about it all the time. And I believed it because he talked about it so much. So I'm like, he's 6'5", almost 240, and talking about he can take on five niggas. So That's I didn't think that we would. I, Walking I around think, saying you could fight five niggas is wild. Right. <laughs> it's wild business. He always talks about mar- different forms of martial arts and how, you know, he would even teach me little moves and stuff like that. It's so hilarious. And you didn't you know, see none of that? No. And then the niggas came back with two more niggas. Like Which they is still left under his requirement. Back, right. Came with two more niggas. We behind the, the counter. Um, Y'all were still getting gas? W- no. He had got punched in the face, and it, they broke his glasses, and his glasses had, like... Well, if, he, so if his we, glasses if he went, were broken, then you could say he had I a reason to lose the fight. I didn't break up with him. I didn't break up well, with him. I didn't say he did. I'm saying, like, he just played it up to mm-hmm. where he could handle so the So afterwards, was he like, man, I usually can fight two niggas? No. We go into the bathroom to clean up because he's bleeding from his face. And then they come back. And he's like, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go out there. These niggas come back with two more niggas. They got chains. One had a bat. They, chains probably, had a, they probably had a gun. It's crazy to have a chain and not a gun. He had a big-ass chain. One of them. So I was like, oh, they're trying to fuck us up. But we was behind the the counter. The, so y'all were the, on the other side of the counter? Mm-hmm. We were behind <laughs> behind the register. Yeah, with, the what is it, plexiglass? Mm-hmm. So we were protected. And he's like, I'm going out there again. I'm going out there. I'm fighting all them niggas. And I'm like, they have weapons. What are you talking about? So then I started losing a little, like, towards him when he's like, no, I'm going out there. And I'm like, get your ass in here. Like, what are Why you didn't talking he, what was about? What stopping him from going out there then? Me. Oh, you were holding him? 
Yeah. So, yeah, you lucky Quote, she unquote, You lucky she hold me back. Hold but the, me back, but tiger. really what stopped it is the, the gas station attendant was Jamaican dude. Oh, well, yeah, the strap. And he came out waving his gun, talking about, get the fuck out of here. Hey, if you're going to you get know. jumped anywhere, make sure the store owner is Jamaican. He was Jamaican, that so will, he... He will never have seen you before, and he'll go to jail for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> he cleared it out. So, yeah. All right. What, what was your threat about again? Um, I didn't even say mine. Oh yet. shit! My bad. <laughs> oh, we were talking about mine. The girlfriend's sugar daddy got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. My thread is it's very sweet, so you're not gonna like this. Nope. <laughs> um, what's a little thing your partner does that means the world to you, but you've never mentioned it to them? Oh my god. Right. What? People well, need to know these things. Looks these are like important. we're starting with the violent girlfriend sugar daddy. Wait, maybe story. should we end on the violent girlfriend sugar daddy? No. <laughs> okay, let's start. <laughs> let's start with the, let's start with the toxicity. Hot. Let's start hot because I want to make sure I get through all of this. So I'll 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 go fast. All right. This shit is exactly why I hate online dating because motherfuckers be lying. Lying. I met this chick on BLK. BLK is like a black Tinder, but sometimes I still see frosted mini wheats on there. I don't know how that happens, but whatever. Make a wild <laughs> off, off top. She right. told me she was hurt in the past and wanted to take things slow for a couple months. I was like, I bet, because she told me she a nurse and she drove a Nissan Altima. Oh, so Lord. I knew the box was elite. You know what they say about <laughs> Altimas. Plus, I liked her for real. So no sex until she was ready ain't bother me. So I started doing shit to show her I'm not just trying to smash flowers, wrote her poems, etc. Okay, come with it then. This girl turned around and bought me a whole car, bro. I'm like, oh, yeah, she the one for real. Absolutely. Okay. So things are going good until this one time I randomly catch her outside at, uh, catch her at a restaurant with some old head. I think the worst and immediately approach her because she hadn't been what? answering her phone all day. He needs to relax. She bought you a car, sir. He bought her him a call. <laughs> right. I say, who this? I'm about to snap, right? But she explains this is a patient she cares for and how it's a part of her job to take them out for walks, dinner, etc. If that was an excuse, that nigga was old. Ooh, she is on it. And that she turns her phone off so people she uh, be taken care of gets her undivided attention and feel important. Okay. I apologized a thousand times. I apologized to the old head, too, but he could barely speak. He was hard of hearing. She is he, the mecca of lies. He couldn't even remember his own name. I felt terrible, dog. Yeah. We're going to call her the Pharaoh of fallacies. The fact that he's either the, at this point, because I haven't read this, either the, the sugar daddy is acting older than he is mm-hmm. or is really just that old. Damn. So I decided to make it up to her. Her birthday comes. I buy her a cake, bought tickets to see her favorite artist, J. Cole, perform. She's at work, so I could have waited until she got off, but I was excited, so I decided to pop up on her. It's no. two pop-ups. Really he quick. He always popping up. He sounds like a crazy one right now. I dropped her food a couple times, so it took me about three tries before I found the house she was working that day. What? He dropped her food? So he had to go back and get another? What the fuck? I knock, I knock on uh, the door. She opens it and is super surprised. He just... Kind of went past dropping the food. I scream, happy birthday. She's like, thanks. She didn't seem too happy, so I ask her what's wrong, and she tells me how Earl, the old head, doesn't like birthdays because no one ever got him anything. I look and see Earl behind her in his wheelchair, about to bawl his eyes out. Wheelchair, too. I apologize again. She tells me we will celebrate once she gets off and asks me to leave. I wanted to say, fuck that old motherfucker. How I'm supposed to know he don't like birthdays? How you not? You did Sir, pop up. You she is at up. work. Right. What are you doing? Even though she's not, you're under the impression she's at work. He's sprung mm-hmm. to the she point where, right? She bought him a car. He lost his damn mind. I like how you're defending her though. But if Defense. if I'm just I'm just no, he's wrong. He is going, wrong. He's he's wrong from the standpoint of. <laughs> Thinking that she's actually at work. I feel that. He said, motherfucker had 60 years to find someone who loved him. <laughs> but I just said, all right, and headed out. I, I leave the cake. I'm almost home when I, re- re- I realize I forgot to give her the other gift. I turn around and head back. I think it was wild. I get there. I'm about to knock when I remember how old head felt about birthdays. So I decide to sneak in and just leave it for her on the counter. 
I walk in, put it in the kitchen, and start to tiptoe out the house when I hear this old raspy ass voice say, yeah, bitch, where you want it? (laughs) I heard my short. I heard my shawty voice say, "Put it on my ass." I Ooh! fell to my knees. <laughs> bro, I hit the corner. Nigga <laughs> said, "Bro, I hit the corner." Old head eating the birthday cake off my girl ass. Bro. <laughs> There's a sugar right there. The this cake nigga provided just... <laughs> the sugar to the sugar daddy. I say, yo, what the fuck, bro? Old head turn around looking like, and it's a picture of the nigga, oh! <laughs> nigga with ice cream cake this on. This nigga about to go into a diabetic coma. Yo. Fucking <laughs> eating the... her booty, eating two cakes. Here's the good part. Bro, I run up on him thinking I'm about to beat his ass, right? Bro, jump right out his wheelchair no. and throws the quickest jab, head kick combo I had ever seen in my life. The, I didn't, I didn't even notice the kick. You saw me like, whoa, jab, head kick combo. <laughs> this nigga went from being a, a paraplegic in a wheelchair to kicking. I didn't even know this motherfucker could walk, let alone throw a kick. I recover and knock him right in his. I recover. Shit. Oh, so he connected. He connected. A Damn. kick. Can you imagine being kicked by a nigga in you the thought head? just didn't, man. I recover and knock him right in his shit. He fall to the ground in, in beating his ass, right? And I'm beating his ass. He fall to the ground. I'm beating his ass, right? Dog, swear to God, tell me how Shawty throw his bedpan at me talking about <gasps> get off him. Uh, I really hope that it was empty. Bro, I look back at her like, what the fuck? Bro, she hits me, and while I'm trying to grab her hands, old head gets up and sumo tosses me right through the motherfucking window. Damn. So she gave that nigga leverage. Oh, my God. Whose side are you on? I get up. I'm so pissed, bro. I walk around to my car and try to leave. He gonna come outside talking about, don't touch my shit, bitch. I paid for that. Woo! Bro, tell me how it was in his name and all. (gasps) I had to Uber home. <laughs> lost on all accounts. He lost the fight. He lost the car. He lost the woman. He lost the money. Like, nigga, you was getting bread off of this. Nigga. This both, nigga was eating without having to do nothing. He said both them motherfuckers some amazing actors because come to find out, she ain't even work as a nurse for months. She just been pulling up to that motherfucker's house acting like she was at a nine to five. Right. So he fully committed and was doing the whole mm-hmm. can't talk, can't in a wheelchair. That's the worst part. Like, I would have much rather just, like, you smashing an old dude who's really in a wheelchair. <laughs> like, at least give me that dignity. Y'all are, like, <laughs> secretly like, oh, Pat's here? I'm <laughs> acting like an old dude and you just eating my birthday cake out of, out of my girl's ass as soon as I leave. He was probably like, as soon as he walked out, was like, all right, get that cake. Let me put it on your ass. That is wild. He said, l- l- lessons I learned. Don't pop up at no one job. Hey. should have known that from. I'm glad that he took that from. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Tell me where to put it. Put it on my ass. Bitch. But that was like the first thing you heard out of a man you thought couldn't talk. (laughs) Where you want it, bitch. Hey. (laughs) Hang on. Also, where's my cake? (laughs) Oh, shit. Put it on my ass. Oh, my God. (laughs) No. I loved every part of this story. It's probably from his imagination. More than likely. But. Still love it. Just imagine and seeing this nigga look up with cake all over his face. It's like, really <laughs> and he fought him with me. the cake on his face. <laughs> he fought him with his own birthday cake on the <laughs> old other nigga's face. <laughs> and did she pull her pants up? Like she had cake on her booty. So what? <laughs> what's she Maybe doing? she was naked. I don't know what women love fighting <laughs> naked. And if y'all don't start naked, you guys will end the fight naked. <laughs> but throwing the bedpan at the nigga is the wild first thought. That is so nasty. <laughs> that means you really. You really cared about this old nigga more. And the fact that he ran outside to catch him before he left after being in a wheelchair. This nigga is funding her life. She lost her job. So this nigga bought, knowingly bought her do a car. Oh, he was all the way in because he was clearly like, oh, he here. Let me get the wheelchair that I bought just for this. So 
popping up, he ruined shit for him too. He mm-hmm. just took, he took a square. Nigga. Oh, two L's <laughs> back to back. <laughs> right. Man, that's wild. But I mean, that's why you just can't trust these hoes. You can't even trust. Why she gotta be a hoe? She was taking care of this dude. She was being taken care of by that dude. And what's wrong with that? Does that make her a hoe? Cause she's being taken care of. She had a of? nigga, and and the, the and her side nigga passed as a nursing patient. She had two niggas. <laughs> That's why you. After this and the Uber story, you can't trust the goddamn thing. <laughs> well, this was made up, so. Hey, we don't know if any of this shit is true. <laughs> right. All right, what you got? Okay, you the ready little, for the this? Little sweet stuff. Yes, it's very sweet. Okay, what's a little thing your partner does that means the world to you, but you've never mentioned it to them? Okay. My wife running to me like a little kid every time I get home. Yo, my heart. Aww. That's cute. Aww. I like that. I mean, it's, it's really little things that make make people feel like really, really good. Just letting me run my mouth about anything. My new book, a documentary I watched, a cute outfit. He eats up every single one of my words and is interested the entire time. Every time is heart hands. Mm-hmm. Adorable. It's cute. No sneeze goes unblessed. If I sneeze three times in a row, he'll say, bless you, three times in a row. God, Even man. if he's barely awake, he'll wake up just to say it and drift back to sl- back asleep. Oh, the bar is in hell. I was just <laughs> about to say that. Like God. a blessing, a sneeze. Damn, like she this... must have been hurt, hurt. <laughs> like, if a sneeze, that's the smallest thing, girl. Like, that man is trash. What else If, if that you... has to be what like. What was your last nigga like? Right? She like, he sneezes when I sneeze he blesses me like what, damn what if she got in an argument with her last nigga all I want you to do is bless me when I sneeze or he just did so little that a bless you is the, <laughs> the world to him because you know how after you leave some some bullshit the the next person I think you were just talking about it they're the they're they're the best thing in the world just for the little <laughs> the little lowest shit. of lowest mm-hmm. bars as long as it's something that the last person didn't do right the way he. Ho- <clears throat> Damn. The way he holds me in public, whether it's my hands, thighs, or any part of my body, it helps my social anxiety feel a lot better and I'm more comfortable outside. That's lit. Okay. Damn, she said, they probably be, they be smashing in public. What? She said, the way he I holds mean, me in public. she's just talking about her social anxiety, I doubt it. If well, he said. Little, she said, whether it's my a little booty hands, grab, thighs, or if that's any just part. for if that's just for making her feel better, I doubt she's busting it open. Well, when she says any part of my body, it's probably it the booty. Makes me feel like. What you mean the booty? I mean, titties aren't really grabbed in public like that. It's not really like like going up to you know grabbing the booty. That's one thing, but just like grabbing a titty, just like, hey, bro, do you know her? Well, she could have <laughs> just said booty then, but uh-huh. she said any part of my body which makes me think he's touching more than just booty and thighs seems like booty seems like she's just a little shy what do you say grab her by the pussy (laughs) he's constantly expressing his love for me sending me love hearts on every message and text calling me baby during those serious conversations telling me he'd do anything for me i never feel unloved for a split second oh that's cute he always picks my calls, no matter how busy he is. He'll pick, then say, babe, I'm busy. Oh, he'll pick up and then say, babe, I'm busy now. I'll call you once I'm done. I don't want to be the pessimist here. What? But that, pick up the phone, I'm busy now, I'll call you back. I guess I've been on the tragic side of that. You just mean think that where, means other bitch? Are you I one of those people know, that I just every know. if they're not with you, they with another bitch no, immediately? No, 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 no. But I have been in that situation. That's been my experience in the past. Like the the dude that I told you cheated on me with five chicks. Mm-hmm. Like that was that was the thing when we weren't together. I mean, it was immediate. Like there was another bitch over there. So and then, then he he framed women as his friends of course that he was actually like doing stuff with so these women knew about me they went along for the ride mm-hmm. basically so 
they're like in the background, hey, Stephanie, how you doing, girl? It's like, we got to get together for lunch, blah, 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 you know, Damn. shit like that. Got and so evils. he'll answer the phone around them, you mm-hmm. know, or if it's a, hey, I'm busy now because this nigga, you know, and then I've been on the other side. So then what, where you say you're busy? No. Where I was in the background and he said he was busy. Okay, so what are they supposed to do? Just not say anything and go ghost for and then say I was busy in behind? No, I don't really know how to rectify that one. I just know like for me that can that wouldn't be my telltale of love, basically. Like she said he always picks up my call no matter how busy he is. He'll pick up and say, babe, I'm busy now. I'll call you once I'm done. Yeah, that's, like, that's that, a weird that telltale that, love. I just yeah. don't know what dudes are supposed to do if he can do that. saying you're busy and not saying anything else are, are both negative. No, he, he can do that. I'm just saying it's not an indicator for me. Okay. Like, you know, there's other things that are, but that one's just... Um, if he has to leave home early, he will use the guest bathroom to get ready instead of our <clears throat> our in suite. He won't even switch the light on. He will only wake me up with soft kisses to let me know he's leaving. Oh man, it's such a kind act of love. If you're gonna wake her up anyway, might as well use the bathroom. You need to. <laughs> <laughs> let me see where you're at. With it. <laughs> Damn. Um. When he's driving, he concentrates really hard and is kind of in a zone. But every now and then, he will grab my hand and kiss it. Even when his attention is on something else, he's letting me know I'm on his mind. Now, I like that. Hmm. I love that. Or just even like a uh, placing his hand like on my leg or something. That's It's small, but it's nice. Um, he tells about his entire day. I even know the names of the people in his office, yet I've never met them. And he knows I hate ironing clothes, so he does that for me. That's interesting because, I mean, the ironing is nice, but, like, I I wouldn't, I I would be, I wouldn't tell a a story filled with characters that the other person doesn't know. (laughs) I would just kind of tell the point of the story. But I think that once it gets into the and then Charlie, you know, that's the girl sits across from me. Blah, 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 blah. But those are boss, the best stories. Blah, 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 blah. And then this, I don't know. I just for me, it's it just doesn't come off as interesting. Nah, I want to know. Like I want to. Oh, oh, and then Layla said what? Like oh, okay. So Layla and Charlie was caught in the Xerox room. What they was doing? Well, yeah, oh. if two people were caught smashing, that's just a good story. No, I'm saying as far as names are concerned, I yeah. love I love knowing the names of, like, the people in the office. Mm-hmm. It's funny because, oh, damn, I shouldn't say that because they still, they still work there. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to say it. But I've definitely been on the receiving end and know all the office tea. So when I went to, like, the little Christmas parties and stuff like that, I'd just be looking around, like, people watching – it's really, I like those. That's funny. I, yeah, okay. Because it's a way for him to vent uh-huh. and for me to be able to understand what he's talking about mm-hmm. instead of him venting to the work wife, you know? The work wife. <laughs> um, and then this last one. Sometimes a light forehead kiss on the way out of the door when I'm asleep. Gentle enough not to fully wake me up when I wake up and realize he put my phone on the charger. I almost never charge my phone. Like little things like that are huge. That's pretty cool for him to put her phone on the charger. You probably check it on the way. (laughs) Right. He's like, oh. He done ran the battery down because he'd been looking at that motherfucker so long. I put your phone on the charger. Okay. Well, that was cute. No, 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 sir. What's yours? Uh, favorite what? Little thing? Yeah. Um, I think it's all, it's all comes down to the head and the back scratches. I know you probably oh. just thought I was going to say head. <laughs> I thought you was th- I'm like, this head, nigga can't get away from sex. Head scratches and back scratches. Head scratches I and back scratches. Sometimes, like, I've hung out with women... And they'll do it, and that shit will be trash. And I'll <laughs> mark them off. No. Oh, no. You, you've you gotten you rid of trash, head scratch. Not solely because of that. <laughs> but I'll be it like, out. it'll be like, and I'll be like, 
this won't work. You kept it in the chamber for when they did something you didn't like. Now it's like, no, I never brought it up. I, no, 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 no. You no. don't scratch my head properly. No, I'm talking about that was your, like, exit stage left. Hey, sometimes the universe <laughs> be showing you all types of stuff like, hey, don't mess with her because of this. Don't mess with her because of this. Just got to learn how to read it. Sometimes it's directly through the scalp. My brain's right there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's the, it's the, I don't, I'm trying to make some scientific <laughs> thing up, but I think that's the, they say the, the way to the heart is through the stomach. Mm -hmm. That's one of the ways. <laughs> through the scalp is the other <laughs> through way. Through the scalp. No, but I, I, I just, uh, I have, that's a, uh, always, even since I was a baby, that's been like a huge thing for me. So when, I've actually been in, in relationships where they like doing it or will, like, go out of their way to do it, and I'm just like, <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> you know, head scratches, especially since you have dreads. Like, when I have braids, head scratches, like, uh, no. greasing my scalp, oh, scratching my scalp. Oh, my God. It, it's like when you get your hair best. washed, when you get it done, that first part mm -hmm. where they're, like, washing it and scratching it. Mm-hmm. Ha-ha. <sighs> mm -hmm. um, my... Mine is, I think, like, small little surprises. Mm. Like, small surprises. And, and when I say small, that could literally be the tiniest of surprises. But I shit just in your bed. to be. Really? Amber Heard. I don't want that kind of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, little. Because big surprises are really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, but the difference between those, it's a lot of planning. Is it, it, there's a lot of planning. There's, there's, there's a lot that goes into that, but small surprises I feel are very thoughtful. So because they're a lot of times to me, they're, they're specific to things that I'm interested in and I like. So that means he not only knows me, he pays attention to the things I like and, wants to make me smile beyond his normal you know so small the, the casual the casual act is nice too mm -hmm. cuz it's just like oh i got you this or i did this mm -hmm. for you and it's just like oh that was really nice as mm -hmm. opposed to like a big surprise mm -hmm. is probably for a reason like a birthday or something like mm -hmm. that it can go wrong and you can do little su surprises without deceit. Mm -hmm. You don't have to even lie to the other person. You're just like, I got you this, as opposed mm -hmm. to like, eh, we're not doing shit on Saturday. Right, right. <laughs> but if he's like, I, I got you a box of mangoes or something. <laughs> yeah, like, could get you a box of mangoes before? Yeah. Yeah, like a little, um, you know how they have the Inside cup? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like a cup and it's mangoes and they squeeze like the lime over it. Oh, they okay. Put, From the cart. Yeah. I thought so, you meant like a box of mangoes. No. Well, so they have like containers too that they'll like chop up the mangoes and put them. My mom gets that for me every year for my birthday. Um, that's one of my gifts is a <laughs> container, container full of mangoes. sliced mangoes. It's so random good. As, random as hell. I know it's not it's not good to eat them all in the same day, but I eat them all in Damn. the same day. You need a box of mangoes for your birthday? Yeah. Yeah. They're already sliced up, so yeah, it's you're just, acidic. But it'd be so good. It'd be so <laughs> good. But yeah, even something I just had to give a reference to as small as I'm I'm talking about. Like so yeah. I thought that well was that was a sweet little you hated that Flower so filled much. bread. <laughs> All right. Y'all, Pat hates sweet shit. Niggas is out here being sweet. Good stuff. He trying to hit you with that sweet, sweet. I'm trying to hit you with these cloud facts. <laughs> sweet meat. Every segment is now just me frustratedly <laughs> trying to segue. <laughs> Go ahead. Dang. Cloud facts. All right. <laughs> Damn. Grumpier and grumpier. All right, I'm going first because I've experienced this before. It's very strange. Cloud fact. You may subconsciously take on attributes of your favorite fictional characters while reading a story. <laughs> this is called experience taking and can lead, to te uh, can lead to temporary or even permanent changes in your real life. <laughs> Nigga reading Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> Getting stuck in trees. <laughs> Nigga start, start wearing big, like <laughs> big t-shirts. <laughs> big t-shirts with no drawers underneath. <laughs> I uh, I read a book in high school 
It's called Six Easy Pieces. Mm-hmm. And it's it followed a, this this author always used the same main character. His name was like Easy Rollins. Mm-hmm. It's like this big black dude, but he was like a it's like an ex con that did like random missions and personal investigations and stuff like okay. that. And it was so random. It was like Grand Theft Auto a little bit. But he was always doing something. He was tired as hell. He had like a family at home, but was still had to like go out at night and get in his car and drive somewhere. Like he was always driving to some uh, some weird, low key, shady job. And just like how they drove, they, how they wrote it was just really cool to me. Mm-hmm. And it made me enjoy driving better because a small oh. part of me was like it felt like i was going on a little easy rollins mission <laughs> <laughs> so Every, even if i was just going to work or something random mm-hmm. it was just like it felt like i was going to go somewhere and do some <laughs> easy rollins stuff type stuff so was that temporary or is it permanent for you that was temporary oh dang um i don't i, I didn't really even think about him until i read this mm-hmm. but that was like how I dealt with long traffic and that's just it was weird because it didn't like help me with anything or but it was just like a weird and I never really th- knew it was even a thing until I read this mm. did you ever think you were I read Harry I Potter? read no, no. I, I read about serial killers oh and you just started off in niggas watching a bunch of serial killer stuff for me was makes that weird? me more it, it felt like you were trying to be weird Ah. Oh. It, it makes that makes me feel like I can't trust anybody else. <laughs> it, it has no, it doesn't affect me, right. but it makes me not. I, I'd be thinking everybody on the street is weird or crazy. I, I can't say that I've ever taken on the character, but I feel like my imagination is so vivid with with the characters. Like while I'm reading the book, I'm just like, I'm like really feeling like I like I still have vivid imagery of the. The coldest winter ever. That's a book. Mm-hmm. Okay. By Sister Soldier. Oh Lord. Sound like a, a rapper. Ooh, yeah. The coldest winter ever. I still have vivid imagery from all of the stories. This girl was. You thought she you were was her? wild. No, I never thought I was her, but I was just watching everything, <laughs> and I was so like engulfed in it that I I think I even had dreams about it, but I don't think that I ever like took on the character mm. you uh, never read or watched something and just kind of like embodied them in a small way <sighs> beyonce <laughs> i don't read i don't read beyonce, beyonce yeah. but i mean i definitely i think that's channel. different yeah that's yeah. For sure different yeah um, experience taking but you know what and it says they fictional characters oh okay see i haven't i haven't read too much fiction mm yeah. You be reading like self help stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I do. All I'm right. Get it, well, get it going. If you guys have ever experienced experience taking, mm-hmm. let us know what characters you thought you were and what you were doing. Okay. So I have very quick, like, bet you didn't know this type facts. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. And I want you to tell me if you, if you heard this or not. Okay. Okay. Um, it is impossible for most people to lick their own elbows. You're gonna try to make me do it right now. Let's both try it. That's that's one of the earliest pank- pranks in school. It's like telling somebody that and then watching them try to do it. No, no, keep doing it. Say something first. I'm doing it. I'm not close. But you know what? If my titties weren't so big, no. Then I why. would get there because look at That's the look at where it's it's not why it's stopping me there like over here this titties. is titty me up here I don't here. have big titties we make we made the same but you progress. can go further back For, what how do you, what, you th- and then twist it's easy what do you mean <laughs> hell no <nah. laughs> right, what's the next fact a crocodile cannot stick its tongue out who even try who even wondered that <laughs> No, that's where random ass like little facts come from. Somebody that was interested in it figured it out. But did they prove it or did they just watch alligators and they never seen one go? I mean, Mm -hmm. how do you prove anything? You test it. They Um, tested that? 
maybe when they put a well, lollipop every time in front I of see, it <laughs> what, when you see a crocodile open its mouth i've never seen one stick it out i always see it looks like the tongue kind of goes back i don't even really remember what a crocodile tongue looked like but <laughs> i just don't see how you would prove that they can't stick it out unless mm. you tried to make it lick some they may have there's been all kind of testing going scientists on. tried to get his ass hit by a crocodile mm-hmm. wasted six hours of his life wrote that fact down <laughs> It is physically <laughs> impossible for pigs to look up into the sky. <laughs> <They don't... laughs> what fucking high ass tests are these scientists doing? Why is any of our money going into this? Who the fuck cares if a pig could look up? <laughs> this nigga's just looking at pigs like, I wonder if they're religious. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, pigs shit. don't know what time it is. Or what time of the day? All right. You ready for this? The sixth sick Seek sick, sheep sick Nigga. is believed to be the toughest tongue twister in the English. Damn, your, that shit still has me fucked failed up. Failed you. What is what the was English the language? Okay, read it. It's right here. The sixth sick sheik seek. It's not sheik. Uh uh-uh, uh, seek seek. The sixth sick seek sixth. Sheep's sick. The sixth sick Stay faster sh- seeks. I just want to understand it. The sixth sick seeks sixth <laughs> sheep's sick. That doesn't even seem like it's a regular or a real a, sentence. It's a tongue twister. So yeah, but it's usually just the, words that you're. But at least it's usually a sentence like, "How much wood could woodchuck chuck if woodchuck could chuck wood?" Like that's still understandable, even if it makes no sense. But it's this fucking is, easy. The that's sixth easy. six seeks. Six sheep sick. It actually might make sense. That's some bull. The six sick seek six sheep. It's a weird sick. fun fact. So basically, it's like the these six, random words the I put together are the hard to say. It's, it's six. This this random group of words is hard to say. That's it that's is a believed fact. to be the toughest tongue twister in the English language. Twist that tongue up. Um, if you sneeze too hard, you could fracture a rib. That'd be the most embarrassing injury ever. I've had some to where they just hurt like a motherfucker. Like I sneeze and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh my God, I let that one go too, too it's wild. Like when you cough and bust something in your <laughs> eye. And you got a bloody People eye. From definitely. Coughing. My mom popped a blood vessel from sneezing mm-hmm, in her eye. Um, wearing headphones for just an hour could increase the bacteria in your ear by 700 times. Ew. That's gross. In so your people, ear? so people wearing their oh, you're probably talking about the buds. Their headphones, like at the gym. Uh huh. Oh, and it's sweating. Mm hmm. Damn, it's pretty gross. Um, and then this, this, this one you might love. I'm gonna end on this one. Okay. In the course of an average lifetime, while sleeping, you might eat around seventy assorted insects and ten spiders or more. Yeah. Assorted insects is funny, but the spider thing, that fact dropped on the internet a I minute remember. ago, and mm-hmm. that shocked everybody. It was mm-hmm. like something like you eat like 10, 20 mm-hmm. spiders a year. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, yo, that's a lot of spiders. It makes me think of like them times that you wake up with dry mouth or something, a bad taste, and you're like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's three daddy lung protein. legs in there. Mm-hmm. Spider protein. Eating them legs. you that much closer to becoming Spider-Man. That's a a vegan's nightmare. Nightmare, because they didn't even choose, you know, to break it like that. Um. But, oh, and this last one: cat's urine glows under a black light. That was the coolest one. <laughs> that was the coolest one. I don't know what these scientists are writing down to even get the money for some of these tests, <laughs> or why anybody got funding to test if pigs can look up. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe they just start noticing it and start holding the food above the pigs and their head, like, and they're like, they don't have necks, right? I ain't never heard pig neck as a as a what a meal. Doesn't it just go from body to head? I don't know. Kinda. Pigs don't look like they have necks. Yeah. I mean, they turn their head, so there's even if it was just a part of the the top but of the spine. But maybe it's so big that it can't go. The neck is really know? just the top of the spine. Mm-hmm. You know, so whatever but, attaches. But if, if there's sm- too much fat up there and not enough wiggle room, then oh, that's I just a fat neck. Go- <laughs> there's some people who have that. But they might not be able to look up. They still have a neck. And buff neck niggas. Mm-hmm. 
but we make fun of them for not having a neck. <laughs> well, that was that was a that was a cool little assortment. Mm-hmm. Assort. I, I see why you grouped them together. Yeah. Yeah, you know? I enjoyed it. Um, and and you're Pat Geo, so you probably you know. I do heard look up most, a lot of stuff. Yeah, I do be looking up a lot of random. I I know more useless stuff than I do uh, stuff that people should know. So <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, that's why we have these things, right? Yep. All right, it's about that time. Mm-hmm. Yoshi got to go. Uh, jump in an egg somewhere oh i'm I'm like what's he gonna do i gotta go jump in 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 in, in someone's eggs Ayo. oh okay yoshi and his owner huh <laughs> no not Y'all my... out here you bring, <laughs> bring yoshi to the session <laughs> all right <laughs> with that said that has been another episode of thick threads the thickest show on the internet with booty i've been your <laughs> co-host Patrick Cloud and I'm Persephone and this is Yoshi's last episode for now we will see you guys later peace out